Tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, I'm Hanuri Wataho and uh, I'm here as electorate chair for the Māori Party. Uh, I suppose for us, <coughs> and actually in my own personal opinion as well, is that I'm not so much interested about the legalisation of marijuana, I'm more interested about the reform of the law. The law in the current status does not meet our communities well enough, and especially when it comes to drug re reform. We don't have law that is about drug reform and what it does look like for you as practitioners on the ground. You know, when you think about the things that health practitioners do and what you're doing every day, is that you're educating our youth as to, you know, uh, if they take drugs, what are the issues that are associated with drugs? But does our law, uh, policy, do our policies serve you well? No, they don't. If we're looking at Indigenous models, do we have an Indigenous model that is there within our law? No, we don't. We have not had any serious major law reform around drug habilitation, uh, alcohol rehabilitation, probably since the 50s, probably since they've been implemented. And our communities, our face of our communities, are changing continuously, aren't they? You know the issues, you know what is facing us every day, but our law does not suit us well at all. I think there should be a law that should be focused on diversion and health pathways depending on the crime. You know, one of the things I'm, I, um, for the party, is that I write policy. And I suppose one of the things for me to be here today is to understand more about what our policy could look like under Fano order, what are the new things that we could be uh, creating new policy to actually support uh, our bottom-up approaches to uh, health development. Um, and uh, if I look at some of the models, of course the biggest model we can all look towards is really to Holland, aren't we? around what they've done in the sense of um, their own form of drug uh, policy. And if you look today and you think about even their prisons, you know, when you hear a stat like 19 prisons don't have people in them, why? It's because they've put it back onto society, onto society, it's got to be our problem, we've got to do it together. So I think, you know, when I look at government, and no disrespect to our politicians that are here, politicians, you actually have to start thinking about law reform. You can't just talk about the examples that are in the community. We need to be able to say, let's change the policy, let's make the policy more specific to our communities, let's help the practitioners on the ground actually get some traction. Otherwise, we're going to look at drug reform as the answer rather than the solution. And that is a no in my mind, uh, whatsoever. So look, I'm just going to leave you with this, because I was looking online, as you do, as, you, uh, as you're thinking, well, I've got to come here today, and what is something I could um, bring to the table? And I was looking at uh, the Netherlands health drug policy. You know, they've got four key things that they focus on. To prevent recreational drug use and to treat and rehabilitate, rehabilitate recreational drug users. You guys are probably doing that already. To reduce harm to users. To diminish public nuisance by drug users. So that's the disturbance of public order and safety in the neighbourhood. And to combat the production and trafficking of recreational drugs. Now I went ahead and look at our public health policy and I thought to myself, what have you done here? None of those in our policy currently. How appalling is that? How on earth can you guys do your job? So I suppose that's a challenge for our politicians who are here today.